matter most to you. Dr. Milan is the medical director of the Riave Institute of Integrative Medicine in Jupiter, Florida. For more information, visit riaveintegrativemedicine.com. Dream Vision 7 Radio Network invites you in for this dynamic, forward-thinking show. If you're living with fear and stress in your life, there is an answer. If you're ready for a better way, step through The Doorway. The Doorway is a multimedia online course for transcending fear, transforming relationships, accessing inner guidance, and experiencing more inspiration and trust in your life. To learn more about these online courses based on the teachings of A Course in Miracles and David Hoffmeister, go to acimcourses.com. Edesia is a U.S. nonprofit dedicated to the dream of ending childhood malnutrition for millions of children around the world. Through the manufacture of Plumpy Nut and other nutrient rich, peanut based, ready to use foods, Edesia has already delivered life and hope to nearly 1 million children in over 26 developing countries. To find out how you can join Edesia's dream of ending childhood malnutrition, please visit ediciaglobal.org. This is Dream Vision 7 Radio Network, uniting mankind with universal love. Our shows are created from the heart, bringing each listener to a place of divine enlightenment. Breathe, relax, and enjoy. Let life flow. Welcome back to Awakened Wellness with Milan Rio Bay, MD. I'm your host, Dr. Milan, and today we're exploring the extraordinary egg controversy, um, talking about why medical studies are so confusing. Uh, we're told to eat one thing one minute and told to stop eating it the next, just as you're about to put a bite of that delicious omelet in your mouth. Yeah, you get this crazy story on the news. So what are we supposed to do with all this data, this confusing data? Well, the answer is... Hey, Dr. Milan, I'm sorry to, in- I'm sorry to interrupt you. You have a caller from the Boston area. Oh, wonderful. Good morning. Good morning. I thank you for talking about this controversial subject, and um, I thank you for also for mentioning the egg price because they are more expensive, uh, as high as $1.50 more than regular eggs. However, compared to a heart attack, $5 for eggs is pretty darn inexpensive. Yes, it's a bargain, actually. (laughs) Yes. So people don't realize that, I mean, we do organic here, and everything uh, seems to be $5 each. However, when you add it up and you compare it to not going to the doctors or not having uh, a lot of the issues that many people experience, uh, it's it's well worth it. So think about how, for the listeners, think about the cost of health care these days. And even if you're doing co-pays, it certainly um, is more than $5. So, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. That's a great So I want to ask you, do you... You know how we're inundated with advertising on TV and and radio and and elsewhere. Why is it that the organic egg farmers aren't advertising? Is it all about the money that they just don't have the funds to do so? That's a fantastic question, Deborah. I I can't speak to that directly. I mean, I would imagine that it's a matter of lobbying. They probably don't have the dollars that the regular dairy industry has. You know, these machines have been grinding for decades and decades, um, and it's hard to bring that gigantic machine to a halt and switch things around. Um, What I have found, uh, years and years ago, I went up to my local legislature here in Florida, up to Tallahassee. Um, We were having a medical malpractice. Uh, you know, crisis again. Um, and I just went up to talk to the legislator, le- legislators, and what I realized is 
they don't have time to look at these issues. So they rely on people knocking on their door and talking to them. They rely on the people that donate to their campaigns, um, which is, of course, extremely dangerous for the American public at large. Um, what I realize is the issues are sometimes above, above what they're capable of understanding. They're not scientists. They're not doctors. You know, and, and so they have to rely on what they're told. And so the more money you have, the louder your voice. And that's what I've been finding. And so you know, it's a gigantic machine that we're going up against. And so it's just a matter of this kind of grassroots effort, you know, it, it's staying on the ground, it's educating as much as possible until, you know, there's enough uh, momentum where we can be on television doing commercials and, and, you know, comparing head to head with this enormous machine that we're up against. Right. Thank you for, for explaining that. And, and yeah, I guess it does go back to, to the monies and they may just not have um, but I wish that there was literature that was written for the consumer somewhere uh, where where people could read about it and make their own choices based on education. Uh, it's a shame because you think about, uh, let's think about the soda industry that had mm-hmm. their billionaires. I mean, has there been any studies on the effects of of sugar and and caramel color uh, for someone that drinks it, you know, four or five uh, cans of soda. <laughs> I mean, it's. I just find it all so amazing that um, there isn't any studies on those kinds of things, or even meds that have ten different side effects that could kill you versus the disease that you actually have acquired. Um, you must be frustrated at times being, you know, both integrative as well as functional doctor that more hasn't been done faster, should I say. Uh, yeah, it, it's a definite source of, of you know, frustration, um, but not just for myself. I'm frustrated for my clients. You know, I see, you know, I have to sit here and parse through these studies to figure out why they don't make any sense. I can't even imagine, you know, someone who doesn't have my background trying to tackle these topics. It, it's impossible to know what to do without the guidance, you know. And there are some places, you know, Nature magazine, uh, there are some uh, nutrition magazines. The data is there. It's simply not in the places where the most people would hear about them. So the data on soda is clear. It's bad for you, you know, and there was just a recent study published that you're more likely to die if you drink soda Um, and these energy drinks as well. But you will not find them in the Journal of the American Medical Association. So it won't make the evening news. You won't find them in the New England Journal of Medicine. So it won't make the evening news. It'll just be in a tiny little corner in Nature Magazine and nobody will be talking about it. Um, but the data is there. It's In fact, it's overwhelming. And if someone did have the resources to sit there and compile all of this data and put it in one place, now we'd have a conversation, you know. Yes. But it's, it's just a matter of time. Yes, time. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I heard on an earlier show that you spoke, and I heard it elsewhere as well, that for the first time in America, um, the decline in the last three years with the expectancy of the human being. And that hasn't happened in a 100 years where... Uh, we're usually going ahead, but it's actually going backwards. And in my mind, it, it it all equates to nutrition and what's been happening in the last 50 years or more. Um, does that does it surprise you at all? Unfortunately, not. You know, this is how species go extinct. You know, species go extinct when the environment changes faster than the species can um, evolve. Um, and so we're very complex. Human beings are extremely complex. We're not like viruses and bacteria um, or even the moth. 
You know, we, we're extremely difficult to, it's extremely difficult to change our genetic makeup. Um, and so when we look at the 80,000 chemicals in our environment that, of course, naturally make its way, make their way into our water and our soil, which then makes, its, makes their way into our food, you know, it's easy to see why we're getting sick in these astounding numbers to the point where our life expectancy is declining and to the point where our children are not expected to live as long as we do. Um, it's insane. And so you have to create a bubble around yourself and your family with this information um, so that what you're consuming is safe, you know, your home is safe um, with the understanding that you're not going to control for everything, but if you can control for at least a, a substantial portion you'll be okay. But uh, again, trying to figure this data out on your own is, is nearly impossible. So, you know, getting to someone who's board certified and whose one and only purpose in life is to figure it out for you is important. Um, you know, and, and unfortunately, we just don't have the same machinery that what the industries who have driven us to this point have at their disposal. Mm. Well, I think the power is in the consumer if they stop buying some of these products, then the larger companies are forced to create more kinder products for the body. And I, I think that's the direction we're going. I, I not think. I know that's the direction we're going, and I just trust it will happen sooner than later. Um, yes, absolutely. In fact, it's going at a pretty risk pace right now, you know, uh, we see more and more companies trying to distinguish themselves as more natural and organic. And, um, and again, we have to take all that with a grain of salt and look at the labels still because companies are just, you know, looking at what's going to make them more money. They're not looking at our health. Uh, their calculation is, oh, wait, people want things they think are healthier, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so if they can make us think they're healthier, they're happy with that. But we really have to ask our question, the question of, is it healthier? You know, the egg industry touts that it's healthy all day long, uh, but it's clearly not because we wouldn't be having these, these um, inconsistent studies if eggs were really healthy. But the reason they're not healthy is because of how the hens are raised um, exactly. and what they're fed. So yeah. if they can make us think something is healthy, they'll take that shortcut and they'll label it natural, they'll label it all these things, but then we have to take a critical look and see. It has to pass the sniff test at the end of the day. But it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. And the, the more astute the consumer becomes, the more educated the consumer becomes in reading labels and figuring out the toxins that are hidden, um, the more the industry will have to respond to that demand. Right. Another point that I, or question I wanted to put out there is with anything, we've learned that if you ate eggs every day, all day long, it's not going to be good for you. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing that really is good for you to drink the water as much every day, but anything, whether it's a vegetable, whether it's a meat, whether it's a cheese, and, and I'm talking organic ways that may not have dairy in it, uh, but still quality good food, you can't eat just one item all day every day and expect to be healthy. There needs to be some diversity there. Would you agree with that? Oh, without a doubt. That's a big premise in traditional Chinese medicine is any restricted diet will become toxic eventually. Um, so that's absolutely correct. You have to vary your diet. And in Chinese medicine, they talk about eating for the seasons. You know, so we eat warmer foods when it's colder outside. We eat cooler foods when it's warmer outside. We eat, you know, more moist foods when it's drier outside. So it's all about balance ultimately. And so you can't stay balanced if you're eating exactly the same thing over and over. So absolutely a fantastic point to make. Um, you got to vary your diet. Look at all the different sources of protein, the different sources of fats, the different sources of um, even carbohydrates, which aren't bad for you. We just have to know the different types that are good. Um, different types of vegetables, you know, um, very bright colored 
um, leafy veggies, and they should be varied, absolutely. And, of course, water, 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 water all day. Yes. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for your knowledge, Dr. Millen, and, um, and keep doing such great